So a friend of mine asked me to make this steel amulet for him. It's actually for a book he's writing, but I'll talk more about that later. For now, I have to figure out how to make the thing. This piece of steel I'm going to use has some pine resin on it from the tree in my backyard. So I'm going to use some universal solvent to clean it off. Fire. I am actually thinking about using electricity to carve the steel. So to start with, I am melting wax from a crayon onto a test piece. Wax is an insulator, so it will protect the steel from electricity, allowing me to control where I carve the steel. I'm using some salt left over from a different project when I tried to blow things up with molten salt. Some water, just ordinary tap water. I have this thing insulated and connected to the positive terminal on a battery charger and a piece of scrap steel I do not care about on the negative terminal. Between 5 and 15 minutes later, it is still bubbling away, but the water has turned very opaquely green with this green floating precipitate. It's probably done etching by now, so I'm going to turn it off and pull it out. I'm quite surprised, but it actually turned out with quite good fine detail. About, about as good as I could draw, so. Now that I know it'll work, I'm going to actually try to make the amulet itself. I'm fairly happy with the way this turned out. It looks fairly similar to the drawing that I was given. It took me a while, but eventually I figured out the main problem I was having was the wax was too thick, and it would chip off in big flakes rather than just carve like I wanted it to. All right, hope for the best. I think it's time to clean it up and see what we've got. Here's a piece of chop. And pull some melons. This one turned out very well. This one turned out very well. This whole arm didn't etch, and then, yeah, that's mainly it. This arm didn't etch, and this arm barely etched. So I think I'm gonna try again. All right, I've re-waxed and re-carved to emphasize those two arms that were kind of left out on the first electro carving. That little repair, turned out to be a success. All right, I have the back all designed and carved. I have my client's initials and a maker's mark, which I just kind of made up as I went. I've finished electro carving the backside, so I'm now going to unbox it, if you will.
here's the front. Got a little bit burned down here, but that'll come right out. And here's the back. To be honest, what I'm doing right now was kind of a big mistake. I was trying to temper the steel and that worked. I used a little bit of borax to flux the steel and I'm not sure if this had anything to do with it, but when I was done, there was an impenetrable hard coating on the surface. It looked like some sort of mixture of borax and iron oxide. This coating was much harder than the steel itself and it took me hours to get it all off. After I had cleaned the surface of the amulet very well, a small amount of this coating remained in the grooves of the characters, giving them a very bold appearance. It's looking good. I think this part is done. The back's a little bit rougher, but that's fine with me. I made some jute cord that I'm going to use for the necklace. Alright, I've finished. I have the medallion with the runes carved in it. I have my client's initials on the back, along with my sort of made up maker's mark. It is held on with a blackened steel ring. I developed a little hooking mechanism, sort of a latch. So this was a success, but I think I'm just going to leave the entire mess here for now because it's 4.30 in the morning. And I'm pretty tired and I need to get to bed, so, yeah. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, then you might want to consider subscribing to my channel. Then again, you don't have to. My next video will probably be about alloys or casting or the super hot foundry I just finished building. Or, if I'm lucky, it'll be about all three.